Hey, what's up? I'm Liz, this is Putsi DIY, and today we're gonna to be talking about something very exciting, and that is the Android Beta Distro that's currently available for the ASUS Tinkerboard. Now, ASUS has kind of two OS's available for the Tinkerboard as it stands right now. That's the Tinker OS, which is their distro of Debian, similar to Pixel for Raspberry Pi, and this Android distro that is kind of based on the Android Marshmallow distribution, um, and I have to say, I think this could really be a game changer for single board computers. It's really impressive, but enough talk. Let's actually take a look, see how it runs. All right, so upon booting up, you can see that it looks like kind of your normal Android splash screen. Um, it's showing um, Wi-Fi, battery life, which is gonna be 100% because obviously the Tinkerboard does not run on battery. Although it'd be interesting to see if you hooked up to um, a LiPo battery, if that would do anything. But anyway, um, and your Google kind of signed in. Now, um, the only tricky thing, because Android is made for touch devices, uh, using a keyboard and mouse um, is a little tricky. Um, it's still expecting you to swipe up to log in. So you kind of have to do this kind of click and drag. I've noticed it works better if you actually like, like you were on your phone, actually like swish up. Um, but as you can see, your standard uh, kind of buttons at the bottom, you got your volume control, back, uh, kind of menu button, and then your kind of active apps button. You can see I've got some going on right now. Um, but let's take a look at the apps I've installed. As you can see, I've got a lot of apps installed right now. Uh, and there's kind of two ways you can go about doing this. Um, to get apps, obviously, Google Play Store is what you would think, but um, the stock Android install from Asus does not come with that installed. Uh, you have to get it through another means. And ETA Prime, really awesome YouTube channel that makes really great tutorials on things like single board computers, has an amazing tutorial on how to get the Google Play Store to work on your Asus Tinkerboard on this Android distro. It's a really great video, I'll link it down below. That's how I got Google Play Store onto my Asus Tinkerboard and um, I really recommend everyone check it out. Now, once you get the Play Store installed, obviously, then you can download any app you want. It will require a Google account, but I feel like almost any everyone has a Google account nowadays, so it shouldn't be an issue for you. If worse comes to worse, you can make a quick fake one just for your testing purposes. Or also, if you don't wanna use your real Google account for some reason, you could also make, just make a test one really quick. And now, once it's installed, you can download any app and you're in business, you're ready to go. Um, you may have some issues with Google services quitting on you. I found um, going into settings and actually looking up the app, finding Google services, Google Play services, for stop and disabling, it allowed me to kind of reset to factory defaults and then I had no issues going forward. But I've seen a lot of different issues. Usually Google Play services are what messes people up. Now there is another way obviously to get apps on here, but it's a morally and legally gray area and that is by sideloading the APK files for the apps. For those that don't know, um, APK is the file extension for an Android app to kind of exist. And I mean, if you're sideloading, like you can see the apps I have installed are all free ones um, that you can get from the Google Play Store for free. I mean, if you're doing that, I, I don't really, I personally don't see an issue with it. I can't speak for the developers, obviously. Um, if you're sideloading apps that you have to pay money for, that you have uh, gotten the APK through uh, an illegitimate way and you have not exchanged currency for that app, um, that's, that's not cool, man. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's piracy and that causes a lot of problems for a lot of people. Um, but so there are two ways, technically, on how to get apps onto your Android distro of the ASUS Tinkerboard. Now you're probably looking at Netflix and Hulu and you're probably thinking there've been so many problems with these kind of things on these single board computers. Do they work on here? So I have to say the most exciting thing about the Android distro for the ASUS Tinkerboard is that finally, finally, after a lot of hacking and a lot of efforts, you can, in fact, watch Netflix and Hulu on your Asus Tinkerboard with no DRM restrictions, no weird workarounds. You download the app from the Google Play Store and you're in business, you're ready to go. The audio and video is clear, crisp, 
and super great. And I think that that is the most exciting aspect right now of the Android distro. Like there's a lot of things, but the fact that people have been trying so hard to make these single board computer um, media centers work, and we have one now that can work. And keep in mind too, that Mali GPU has 4K uh, optimization and the video player on the Android distro, d the native one, if you were to have actual physical files for 4K, does support it. So it's really only a matter of time until that Netflix and the Hulu 4K support comes in. So I think that's super exciting. I think we're finally in business on having a single board computer media center solution and I could not be more excited. Now another thing, all of the browsers work as usual, Chrome, Firefox, those sort of things. I was able to get VLC Media Player on there. The only app I've had issues with is HBO Now. I haven't had that work yet, um, but I'm working on it. Uh, everything else though that I've installed, and you can see what I've installed right here, has worked beautifully and I could not be happier. So overall, this Android distro is super awesome. Let's go into the Play Store so you can see everything's working and it's not glitchy at all. Let's actually download an app just so you can see. Geekbench. Let's do Geekbench because I'm, I'm playing around with the idea of maybe doing benchmarks on the Android distro to see if they differ at all from Tinker OS. Let me know down in the comments if you're interested in seeing that. Um, but for now, let's install Geekbench just, just for the hell of it. And our download for Geekbench has finished. So now I can click it, open it up. And you can also see that it's picked up that I'm running the ARM rock chip right away, Android 6.0.1, 1.96 gigs of memory. So there you have it. I've downloaded an app from the Google Play Store on the Android OS for the Asus Tinkerboard and Geekbench is also recognized on my specs immediately. I'm super impressed with this Android distro and keep in mind this is only the beta. I'm sure full release there's going to be even more features uh, and I'm super excited. I think where the this will stand out truly is in um, applications like media centers for people. Um, you think about like the price of an HTPC compared to the price of an Asus Tinkerboard. If you're able to just load up this OS really quick you've got a full full-blown media center that's like the size of a credit card and ready to go and it's capable of 4k that's crazy this is so crazy so awesome uh and i'm if you can't tell i'm i'm really excited and i hope everyone tries out this distro don't be afraid of it being a beta and don't be afraid of that um a little bit of a workaround to get the google play store on there once you get on there you're ready to go and what can i'm i'm speechless i have no words it's just it's great it's overall great but that's all for this episode of Blitz Say DIY. If you liked it, toss me a thumbs up down below. Leave me any questions and comments as well. Let me know if you're interested in seeing a specific Android on Tinkerboard benchmarks, um, and I'll get right on that. If you have any questions about Android on Tinkerboard in general, let me know. Uh, find me on all social media nonsense. Links are down below in the description. Thank you for watching. Consider subscribing for more content like this. And until next time, this has been Blitz City DIY.